हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर एस बी सांगे वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग के आई कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द कोर्स एडवांस ऑटोमोबाइल डिजाइन एंड इन लेसन वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन टू बी आई डब्ल्यू दैट इज बॉडी इन व्हाइट सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज वॉट इज बॉडी इन व्हाइट सो बेसिकली दिस इज द टर्म Uh, this is an assemblage of all welded sheet metal panels uh, before going for priming and painting so basically this is the frame so you know for each and every vehicle there has to be one structural frame and uh, around that particular frame we are going to attach uh, various body panels we are going to connect the ic engines we are going to going, going to connect the transmission systems we are going to connect the suspensions so this this frame acts as the main structure and one of the most important functions of this structure or frame is to transfer the loads so this is the uh, functional member which transfer the load suppose the load suppose the weight of the vehicle suppose the weight of the luggage suppose the weight of passengers and uh, goods if it is a goods carrying vehicle uh, there are basically two parts uh, of biw uh, basically there are two categories uh, monocoque and frame mounted so we will discuss what are monocoque and what what is frame mounted structure so basically monocoque is the structure where there is no separate frame as such so the body itself acts as a frame and the entire structure passenger cabin everything acts as a frame in that particular monocoque structure and all other elements like ic engines uh, just i discussed uh, the mechanical transmission system suspension seats everything is connected to that frame so the main difference in monocoque and frame mounted is that in monocoque there is no separate frame and passenger compartment itself acts as a a uh, frame and transfers the weight so uh, you can see here so in this particular diagram whatever you are observing in right side is the monocoque structure and you can see that uh, it nearly looks like the passenger compartment of course there are no doors and everything but this looks like the passenger compartment so the passenger compartment itself acts as a structure so whatever you are observing right now on that particular screen is nothing but a monocoque structure so what is meaning of mono mono is single so there is single structure which acts or which functions everything like it acts as a passenger compartment it transfers the weights it supports the weight it supports the various elements like ic engine and so on so in monocoque body chassis is built in the biw itself and there is no separate chassis so once you eliminate this there is no need of any separate chassis as such okay and wheels and as as, as i discussed everything is connected directly to this monocoque structure uh, this is monocoque structure second is example of frame mounted body structure you can see here the idea is very clearly illustrated here uh, you can see in first particular uh, diagram uh, passenger compartment is shown on upper part and actual separate frame is shown in lower part of the diagram or image you can see passenger compartment is separate compared to frame mounted and the only function of passenger compartment is to accommodate the passengers and the entire load uh transfer is taken care by that separate frame that you can see in uh, lower part of that particular diagram so there is dedicated separate frame on which passenger compartments uh, and luggage space is connected and as far as elements are concerned like ic engines suspensions transmission systems uh, wheels all these particular elements of vehicle are directly connected to the frame itself and not to the passenger compartment so this is different compared to whatever we discussed in previous part that is monocoque uh, again in right side you can see it is in detail explained uh, you can see at lower portion uh, there is separate frame to which passenger compartment shown in blue color is connected seats are connected wheels are connected ic engine is connected transmission is connected and all other elements are connected normally these uh, separate frames are made of standard cross sections like i section h section c sections or whatever it depends so this is a different compared to previous and there are these two main categories of biw that is the frame uh, there is third category which we are not going to discuss in detail in syllabus but there is third category also which is hybrid one in which some part is made of frame mounted and some part of that uh, biw is monocoque but we are not going to discuss that now from uh, before going to that we will discuss some benefits and uh, limitations of this obviously as far as monocoque structure is concerned the main benefit is weight reduction we can achieve huge amount of weight, weight reduction in monocoque so there is tremendous scope for weight reduction 
that is the important benefit second the most important benefit because of which nowadays all car manufacturers are going for monocoque structure is safety uh, inherently monocoque structures are safer uh, compared to frame mounted structures okay because of energy absorption and so many principles that we are going to discuss in next units uh, one more advantage is that obviously uh, it is compact but there are certain disadvantages also so what are these disadvantages basically most important disadvantage is cost because the design efforts required and the challenges are huge compared to frame mounted structure it is difficult to design uh, it is expensive to manufacture because you require complicated manufacturing processes like spot welding and laser welding so these are few advantages and limitations of uh, monocoque structures on the other hand from frame mounted structure most important benefit is the strength uh, these are inherently stronger and uh, cost is low obviously because we are using simple cross sections to manufacture this so these are cheaper to design cheaper to manufacture weight is high so obviously uh, because of weight nowadays car manufacturers are not uh, using this very uh, widely and another benefit is twisting resistance uh, especially uh, whenever there are chances of twisting or torsion of vehicle these are preferred so these are important benefits uh, and as we have discussed now what is uh, monocoque and what is frame mounted now you can just pause the video for a moment and answer the question can you just give examples of vehicles that you are observing in day to day life which uses frame mounted structure and which uses monocoque structures so take your own time and try to answer this particular questions you can pause the video ok I hope you have uh, sorted out the answer. Now I'll go to next one. Now you can see uh, BIW structure is divided into this domain. You can just observe the color codes, underbody structure, front end structure, body side, closure and roof. So uh, the dots indicate where that region particularly is. For example, you can see the roof is on upper and so on. So these are uh, basically five categories in which BIW structure can be divided. Uh, this is the underbody structure you can see the lower part of BIW of any car now henceforth whenever I say BIW we are specifically referring to the car body we are not considering the trucks and uh, heavy vehicles so whenever I say BIW that means it is a passenger car so this is the underbody structure you can see there are dash panel front floor riser rear floor rear wheel house and you can see uh, at the middle section you can see there is one projection uh, and you have seen this in uh, day to day car also uh, the floor is not flat the specific reason is to improve the bending moment uh, resistance so bending resistance so by providing this particular projection at the bottom we are increasing the stiffness of car under bedding, bending so this is the underbody structure then this is the front end structure obviously the front side of car looks like this so there is engine which is not shown here so they, there are plenum panels front wheel houses wing panel cowl upper tie bar lower tie bar the function of tie bar is to support uh, cowl is the upper portion just below the glass front glass and front wheel house fender is the part where we fit the uh, we give the recess for the wheel then next is body side so these are the side structure of BIW a pillar B pillar C D pillars quarter panel side drip rail so these pillars are important so you can see uh, a pillar a pillar is the region uh, between front glass and front door so whatever short channel you observe in a car that is based typically a, a and b pillar and c and d pillar so basically front is a pillar middle is b pillar which is the pillar between two doors and the rear end pillar is c and d pillars obviously if the car is a suv then only there is d pillar for hatchbacks and sedans there is no d pillar only a b and c pillars the main important function of abc pillar is to support the roof under rollover so you know many times uh, if the car is at high speed and it suddenly takes turn it will topple so in that condition the roof should not crush and for that matter abc pillar must be very strong so that these are the things we are going to discuss in detail later on anyway so these are the closures closures are the are the structures which we can open and close and obviously doors all four doors rear tailgate and front bonnet so these are the closures and last one is roof obviously you know this uh, function of roof is to protect the passenger compartment from uh, environmental elements and to protect the passenger in case of rollovers so uh, this is uh, this is all about uh, the first lesson in which we discussed uh, what is the introductory part of BIW uh, how it is made and the basics of uh, concept of BIW and types of chassis so thank you in next lecture we are going to discuss further things Thank you.